the call would have gone out over the intercom, trauma category one, trauma category one, and then the medical professionals would have come down and found Lamont lying on that table. I need somebody to lie in so I can illustrate what would have happened that night. And it's Aaron. How old are you, Aaron? 18. 18. So you're a couple years older than Lamont was when he, the night he was shot. Will you kind of center yourself on the bed? I'm going to ask Dr. Goldberg to come forward. Dr. Goldberg is our chief of trauma surgery here. Um, she's worked on a, a number of young gunshot patients. Well, Lamont came in that night and actually was on this very same stretcher. And the first thing that we need to do is find out where all the bullet wounds are. He would have had a bullet hole there. Mom would have had a bullet hole there. So these are the two that bother me the most, personally. He would have had a bullet hole there, and he would have had a bullet hole there. So what we needed to do is actually do surgery right here in this very location, right on this stretcher. We had to open up his chest. So again, we took our knife and we made a big incision from the breastbone down to the table, right below the ribs. And then to get into the chest, to be able to find his heart, we had to put this retractor in and open it way open to spread the ribs. Put that here. Kind of pop that up here. We took clamps like this to try to close up those holes in his heart quickly because all the blood and all the fluid we were giving him was just coming right out his heart. We noticed some bleeding from the other chest, so we had to come across the breastbone. You can feel your breastbone here, right? Feel that? And the best way to come across the breastbone is with a device like this. It's the fancy name is called a Lipsky knife. And you actually just lift up on the bone, so the bone's sitting right here, and you pound on this thing, and you split the breastbone. And in spite of all of these attempts of opening up his chest, trying to put clamps on the multiple holes in his heart, actually compressing his heart with our hands to get it beating again, Lamont died on this very stretcher right here. A lot of these guys are looking at this, thinking that this kind of procedure rarely happens. How often do you think this procedure happens? On this past Sunday, three times. On a Sunday. One night. Yeah, one night. Three times. And all three of those patients died. See, Lamont, when he left, his grandmother said, baby, I love you. He said, love you, grandma. See you later. It was a lie. 15 minutes he was here. 